Have you not seen sword, famine and great confusion growing on the earth? Great confusion. People don't even know the reason why all these things are happening, man. They don't know what happening in Ukraine, Syria, Libya, Yemen. They don't know why these things are planes disappearing. For many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish of famine, famine, man. So that's sealed the deal right there. A lot of you people out there, you're gonna die because of the of famine. You're gonna take the chip and die because of the because of the famine. And and the other that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy. So you might you might um kill and eat people. You're still gonna be destroyed by the missiles, man. You might you might um you might not. Uh, you might get food, but you get get killed in them them um, World War Three or them ra uh, race wars or by the final ICBMs. Or you might take the chip and the, the troops kill your ass anyway, man. All right, because you ain't nothing but cattle to them any fucking way. All right, for many of them that dwell upon earth shall perish of famine, and the other that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy, and the dead shall be cast out as dung. And there shall be no man to comfort them, for the earth shall be wasted, and the cities shall be cast down, man. Because the cities are going to go from, like, you go into any of these cities, you got laughter and people shopping and having a good time. It's going to go to a stinking, rotten flesh hell zone, man. Alright, so with that, um, you know, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to, uh, 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 um... In the clips of me reading out these different articles and i hope you brothers have been edified man and strengthened in the spirit man for these times to come man hey but, hey because hey this is the time that we look for man and we this right at the door man it's right at the door but you know what man brothers we ain't got nothing to worry about man we ain't got nothing to worry about man because hey we 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 who are, are who have been doing this thing in faith and in sincerity the, the lord is going to keep us in that time man that's written in the scriptures man the Lord is going to keep us from that hour of temptation, man. Because we kept his word, man. And, and the Lord said that. And if he said that, he's going to do that, man. So, it don't matter what go down. The Lord is going to be with you, man. And you ain't going to sell out, man. And you're going to keep faithful unto death, man. If it has to be death. Alright? So, Shalom. Pretty much just shows what's about to go down, man. Um, so we're gonna go through it. it says um obama nationalizes all food and this will force millions of americans into fema camps okay because like i'm gonna go into before i show this clip basically the so-called white man knows history um that's one of the main ways that you can control people is with their belly man so we're gonna go through the information so it says um it says um we are living in a time of unprecedented craziness and life-threatening danger jade helm special operations forces are practicing to extract political dissidents under the unconstitutional authority of the ndaa see now what's going to happen is this web this um this whole system that they've created in the background while people were asleep it's all going to come together in one go all these different legislations that they've been passing over the year and these troops they've been training and it all seemed unrelated unrelated that that is all gonna come to a head man all right see people forgot about the ndaa man you know that's how them simple-minded arm fucking uh, uh uh israelite groups oh you guys the, this law was gonna be passed then yeah it was passed but guess what it doesn't mean they have to use that law at that time they keep it on the back burner stupid till the whole thing comes together now it says further jade helm conventional military units are practicing to put several communities on the martial law in addition america is witnessing unprecedented troop and military equipment movements throughout the country all right and it ain't just america it's pretty much all the countries man because that's the plan in the new world order man straight up martial law and a world war so despite these serious the serious the serious nature of these events there is a more insidious and dangerous threat that looms over the american people president obama has nationalized all american food and food production through executive order 13603 obama has granted himself the authority control um uh, the authority to control all food and now has the unique ability to starve america into submission as it relates to his handling the country off to the bankers in the name of perpetuating the new world order and ridding the planet of the weak and those who will not willingly go along with the intentional destruction of america here are some of the key provisions of eo 
30, 603 and its impact and the control of American food supply. He says, with the stroke of his pen, Obama has total and absolute control over all food, blah, blah, blah. Uh, e, um, food resources means all commodities and products, simple, mixed or compound or complements to such commodities or products that are capable of being ingested by either human beings or animals, irrespective of other uses to which such commodities or products may be put. At all stages of processing, from the raw commodity to the products thereof, in vendable form for human or animal consumption, food resources also means pot pot potable water packaged in commercially marketable containers, all starches, sugars, vegetable and animal or marine fats and oil, seed, cotton, cotton, <laughs> hemp and f your, that's your clothes man, that's the clothes on your back man, they own it all, the clothes in your closet, Obama owns that, the state owns that man, see the state is going <laughs> man, you people ain't ready, man. You see, you thought this thing was a fucking joke, man. <laughs> and flax fiber, but does not mean any such material after it loses its identity as an agricultural commodity or agricultural product. Basically, they fucking own everything, man. This, you see, man, this <laughs> martial law is really the state of the new world order. That's the state they want. They want a state of where the state is God and has complete control over you people which I'm going to do a video of that and it begins with the martial law and that martial law will never end that is the new world order straight up control of the state of everything the people chipped everything quantified and controlled man so you people you think these liberties that the so-called white man gave you to do all kind of madness was going to last forever no the so-called white man's going to take all your liberties away even the ones that you don't think about uh, it says food resource facilities means plants, machineries, vehicles, including on farm and other facilities required for the production, processing, and distribution and storage, including cold storage of food resources for the domestic distribution of farm equipment and fertilizer. Man, all right, so hey, man, and you can read through this article because I'm going to post it. All right, you see inflation of food, all of this inflation is a lot of it is artificial scarcity, man. All right. Some of it is due to weather, and some of it is artificial scarcity, man. Because hey, like they say, according to communism, man, if if, if uh if Saudi Arabia became a communist country, sand would be in short supply because they use the resources to control the people, man. All right. Check this out now. It says Feds have been preparing for the coming food shortages since 2008. As far back as 2008, I can find evidence that the government was attempting to stockpile as much survival food as possible. These events prompted prominent brokers and key media members to advise the public to begin storing food as long as six years ago in anticipation of what is about ready to happen. In 2011, FEMA issued a request for information in which they inquired about the availability for 140 million emergency meal kits with a shelf life of 36 months along with blankets. The conclusion under what conditions would you surrender yourself to an illegitimate authority that did not have your best interest at heart? Well, like I'm going to go into Joseph, remember Joseph in Egypt. The, the people sold themselves into slavery for what? For lack of bread. He said, would you cross that line and willingly walk into a FEMA camp? Okay. Before the chorus of macho men answer with a sense of false bravado, please realize that you and anyone else will do whatever it took to prevent you and your family from starvation. Obama knows that and this is why we now have uh, EO13603 on the books. Please keep in mind that Stalin used food to kill an estimated 20 million people in the Ukraine because the people demanded freedom. Executive Order 13603 promises to surpass these numbers when, not if, EO13603 goes live. Again, you got you know, FEMA camp spreading all over the you know, United States. Uh, beginning in April of 2015, I've written over a dozen articles detailing how this administration plans to deal with the population. We are witnessing the wholesale conversion of stadiums, arenas, schools, closed malls and strip centers into FEMA camps. Yeah, because they ain't gonna need no fucking sports stadiums in the New World Order, man. <laughs> okay, you people, man, you really don't understand what Esau has planned, man. You thought the new, you thought Esau was sending you into some utopia of singing and dancing and, and, and overindulgence. No, you're, the, the world Esau wants to create is a world where he gets to sing and dance, and I'm talking about the super elite, and overindulge, and you get rations, man. <laughs> and it's gonna begin with that 